Welcome back everyone. I am Shopta Porni from BioLive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the energetics of beta oxidation of linoleic acid. Okay. So in my previous video, I have discussed about the energetics of beta oxidation of palmitic acid, which is a uh, saturated fatty acid C16 saturated fatty acid and in this video we are going to learn about the energetics of unsaturated fatty acid that is linoleic acid it is a 8 carbon containing unsaturated fatty acid having two double bonds okay delta means the double bond at 9th position and 12th position okay two doubles bond two double bonds are present so see before uh, beta oxidation of any kind of fatty acid, the fatty acid is needed to be activated. Okay, and this activation occurs in cytoplasm, and as a result, the fatty acid becomes uh, the fatty acyl CoA. So, in case of linoleic acid, it becomes linoleyl CoA. Okay, and then that acyl CoA. Uh, passes through the inner mitochondrial membrane with the help of carnitine and goes inside the mitochondria where the uh, steps of beta oxidation takes place. So, okay, so in this part from linoleic acid to linoleyl CoA, okay, in this formation two high energy bonds are consumed. Okay, so we can write it as two ATP are actually utilized here actually one ATP is utilized but two high energy bonds are broken down that is why one AMP and two inorganic phosphates are formed that is why we can consider it as two ATP okay so for energetics this step is important now the linoleyl CoA when it gets inside the mitochondria uh, it um, it undergoes three cycles of normal beta oxidation okay through uh, and uh, we know that uh, in beta oxidation the bond breakage occurs between the alpha position and beta position okay between the alpha and beta position so in the first cycle this bond will be broken in the second cycle this bond will be broken and in the third cycle this bond will be broken and after three cycles of normal beta oxidation we will find three molecule of acetyl coa and in each cycle one FADH2 will be produced so three molecules of FADH2 and in each cycle three NADH2 will be produced so three molecules of NADH2 okay and uh, after that we will find a eight carbon molecule okay this is the eight carbon uh, acyl CoA formed after three cycles of beta oxidation and in this acyl CoA you can see that two cis bonds two cis double bonds are present these cis double bonds have now changed their position from ninth to three third position okay and from here 12th to sixth position okay so now we can call it as cis delta 3 and cis delta 6 enoyl dienoyl coa okay so this is the structure of cis delta 3 and cis delta 6 dienoyl coa now, uh, as this molecule is formed, now the bond breakage between alpha and beta carbon becomes inhibited because there is a presence of double bond nearby it. Okay, so to uh, convert, so to change the position of this double bond, this delta 3 double bond into delta 2 trans double bond, we use delta 3 delta 2 enoyl coa isomerase okay so this is an isomerase enzyme which changes the del cis delta 3 double bond into cis delta 2 uh, sorry trans delta 2 double bond okay see here the double bond between 3 and 4 is now changed in between 2 and 3 okay and it is in trans position okay whenever the uh, double the carbon moiety of the double bond are in same plane they are called cis position like this is the cis double bond where, where when the carbon moieties of uh, of the two carbon constituting the double bond is in different plane they are called trans double bond so this is a trans double bond so we can now call it as trans delta 2 cis delta 6 dienoyl coa 
okay and as we know that whenever there is a double bond between alpha and beta carbon okay then it undergoes the next three steps of beta oxidation okay actually this double bond is formed at the first step of beta oxidation uh, with the help of fad and one molecule of fadh2 is released but here the isomer is does the function that is why there is no first step okay there is no first step or the first reduction step so no fadh2 is formed rather the beta oxidation starts here from the second step and it forms one molecule of acetyl coa and one molecule of nadh2 in the next cycle of beta oxidation okay next one single cycle of beta oxidation now after the single cycle of beta oxidation we can see one acetyl coa is formed one nadh2 is formed but no fadh2 is formed okay as the first step was muted here but we can see there is a another acyl molecule with 10 carbon atoms now and here there is single double bond between the fourth and fifth position so this sixth and seventh positional double bond is now changing its position from fourth and fifth so now we can call it as cis delta 4 enoyl coa as there is a oh, there is only a single double bond present here okay now the problem is that if the double bond uh, if the first carbon atom of the double bond is of uneven carbon then the isomerase can do the function uh, to convert it from cis to trans but if it is the even number of carbon okay see here the double bond was in the uh, uneven number carbon 3 here okay but this bond starts with the even number carbon 4 okay so now the isomerase cannot uh, do the function directly so for that we need to do our reduction our oxidation step okay our oxidation step similar to the first step of beta oxidation so here acyl coa dehydrogenase acts on this uh, cis delta 4 acyl coa and it forms uh, a double bond between this alpha and beta position okay so now we can see trans delta 2 this is the trans delta 2 double bond and cis delta 4 uh, double bond is present in the next molecule and this is now called 2,4 dienoyl coa or trans delta 2 cis delta 4 dienoyl coa okay now our function is to change this double bond okay and this double bond into a single cis double bond okay now these two double bonds are changed into a single cis double bond with the help of uh, NADPH2 okay now the reduction occurs and two hydrogen atoms are attached to second carbon and fifth carbon position and now the two double bonds are changed into a single cis double bond at the third position so now this is called cis delta 3 uh, enoyl coa as there is only single double bond okay now as we know if the double bond position is changed into a uh, uneven carbon number now isomerase can do the function so now delta 3 delta 2 enoyl isomerase will change this double bond into uh, uh, trans delta 2 double bond okay so now trans delta 2 enoyl coa is formed where the double bond is now between alpha and beta carbon okay now uh, similarly uh, one cycle of beta oxidation will occur and as the double bond is already formed between the alpha and beta position no FADH2 will be formed that means no first step is required but the uh, last three steps are required so one molecule of acetyl coa and one molecule of NADH2 will be formed and after that uh, uh, another acyl coa will be formed with only eight carbon moieties without any double bond so now they will uh, do the same beta oxidation for saturated fatty acid and uh, three times the cycle will repeat first time the bond breakage will occur here then here and then here okay and after three cycles of beta oxidation like the saturated fatty acid it will form four acetyl coa three fadh2 for each cycle and one in and three nadh2 for each cycle okay so ultimately we can see that uh, fr from the whole pathway we can see how many molecules of acetyl coa is formed 3 then 1 4 then see here 4 then here 1 5 and here 4 9 okay so total 9 molecule of acetyl coa is formed 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 so total 9 molecule of acetyl coa is formed 
Now get back to the FADH2. Now you can see in the first step three molecules of FADH2 is formed. Okay. But in this step no FADH2 is formed. So 3 plus 0. Then in the next step one molecule of FADH2 is created. So 3 plus 0 plus 1. Then in this step also no FADH2 is formed. So 3 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0. And at the last step 3 FADH2 is formed. So 3 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3 total 7 molecule of FADH2 is formed. Okay. Now coming back to the NADH2 you can see that at the first step 3 molecules of NADH2 is formed. Here 1 molecule that means 4 molecules of NADH2 formed. But here 1 molecule of NADPH2 is consumed. So we can consider as that uh, here 1 molecule of NADH2 is consumed. That means 3 plus 1 minus 1 that is till now 3 molecules of NADH2 is formed. Now in this step another molecule of NADH2 is formed so 4 molecules and at the last step 3 molecules that means total 4 plus 3 7 molecules. So here you can see 3 plus 1 minus 1 because 1 molecule of NADPH2 was consumed then plus 1 plus 3 total 7 molecules of NADPH2 sorry NADH2 is formed. Now when these acetyl-CoA goes to TCA cycle and then goes to electron transport chain, they form 10 molecule of ATP from each molecule of acetyl-CoA. So from 9 molecule, we will get 90 molecules of ATP. Now from 1 molecule of FADH2 in ETC electron transport chain, we can get 1 molecule of uh, 1.5 molecule of ATP. So from 7 molecule, we can get 10.5 molecule of ATP. Now from 1 molecule of NADH2 through ETC cycle, we can get 2.5 molecule of ATP. So from 7 molecule of NADH2, we can get 17.5 molecule of ATP. So when we added all these three, we can get total ATP produced is 118 molecule. Now we have consumed two molecules of ATP in this process where in the first step, okay, what is the first step from which the linoleic acid was converted to linoleyl CoA, okay. Here two molecules of two high energy phosphate bonds of ATP was consumed. So we can consider it as consumption of two ATP, okay. So here uh, ATP consumed becomes two. So total ATP gain becomes 118 minus two that is 116, okay. So from this we can say that from one cycle, complete cycle of beta oxidation of linoleic acid, we can get total 116 molecule of ATP. Okay, so that is all about the energetics of uh, beta oxidation of uh, linoleic acid. I hope this video is um, useful for you and uh, you have got the clear idea. This video is very useful for UG and PG students and also for NET aspirants and if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to comment below about uh, how much did you like this video. Okay and obviously subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and happy learning.